This Thai-inspired chicken stir-fry has been my absolute fixation for the past five days. Why? Well, I've got three simple reasons. First, it takes less than 10 minutes. I'm still in the middle of moving and kind of getting up to speed on stocking my fridge, pantry, working on scripts for other videos, so a high-protein quick meal like this is exactly what I needed. I made this dish once a couple days ago and it's been on repeat ever since because of reason number two, it's flat out delicious. While it may look fairly plain, this dish has flavor hidden all over it in the form of salty, sweet, spicy, sour, and umami, making it absolutely addictive. And thirdly, it has renewed my love for Prick Nam Pla, which is a three ingredient Thai table condiment that everyone should know how to make. To start, I've been prepping the rice, dry browning the chicken, and making the prick nam pla ahead of time, which all hang out in the fridge. For the chicken, I'm just using breasts so I butterfly them to thin them out a bit, and then sprinkled salt on both sides before tossing that into the fridge. For the rice, add 200 grams of jasmine rice to a pot, and just wash it two to three times, which will help remove some of those excess starches. Once washed and drained, add 300 grams of water, and then optionally, I've been adding a slice of ginger to give the rice some fragrance. Set the pot on the stove over medium high heat and bring that to a boil. Let it boil for a minute, giving it a stir to ensure the rice isn't sticking. Then turn the stove off and place a towel over the pot, then put the lid on and let this steam for 25 minutes off the heat before transferring it to your container of choice. And this is my favorite method for getting those nice separate rice granules. Lastly, for the prick nam pla, add 50 grams of fish sauce to a container, along with 20 grams of lime juice, and lastly, two to three finely diced chilies. Sometimes garlic or sugar will be added, but this is a common table sauce served in Thailand to immediately add umami, spice, and sourness to a dish. And for me, a spoonful of this stuff turns the stir fry from, this is really good, to, this is the only thing I'm gonna eat for the next couple of days. So obviously you could just do this stuff when you're gonna actually make the dish, but I find that pre-prepping just these items kind of helps jumpstart the process a little bit and makes it so much easier once I actually do go and cook this for the night because the stir fry itself will literally take about seven minutes. This stir fry consists of three main components that can be substituted as you please. First, you have the meat. In my case, I'm using chicken breast, but ground pork or turkey would work really well too. Secondly is the green vegetable. I'm using sea beans, which I happen to find at the grocery store and really enjoy them, but asparagus, snow peas, bok choy, or whatever you have will work well. And then third and most importantly, flavor-wise, is the aromatics. For this, I have some ginger, green onion, the Thai chilies, and Thai basil. And I really would try to find Thai basil if you can. It's a little more punchy and stands up better to the other aromatics than a sweet basil does from Italian cuisine. To stir fry this, set a wok over medium heat and add 15 grams of a neutral oil like peanut oil. Next, toss in the green vegetables along with a little pinch of salt and just saute everything together for about two to three minutes. I'm not really looking to blacken or char these at this stage, though you could if you want. Once those are cooked, remove the vegetables and set it aside. Now, turn that heat up to high and add another 10 grams of oil and then toss in the cubed up chicken and blast that on the high heat until it's cooked through. And again, you wanna get some nice little brown bits if you can and just cook it until it's done and really any meat could be used here. Chicken thighs, ground pork, ground lamb, lots of different options. Once the chicken's cooked, return the vegetables back to the wok with the chicken and toss everything together, including that ripped up Thai basil. You just wanna stir fry everything together for a minute or so, and then you can turn off the heat. And optionally, I like to add a little pinch of MSG to mine. To serve this, set some of that beautiful rice down and add a heaping amount of the chicken and veggies. Lastly, bring out your prick nam pla and add spoonfuls of the stuff as needed, and it's time to devour. That, my friends, is just as good as the last four times. Seriously, such an easy dish, and if you can find sea beans, highly, highly recommend them. They're just kind of a normal green, nice little crunch to them, but they have kind of have like this oceany sea taste to them, which I guess kind of makes sense based on the name. 
Um, but other than that, like you can use any type of greens, any type of protein you want. This is similar to like a pad crapau, um, but without the oyster and soy sauce that kind of goes around. It's a little bit simpler, much easier. You've got to have this stuff in your fridge. Just like a couple spoonfuls of this over this seriously elevates it so, so much. Recipe for this will be up on my website if you guys want to follow it. Hope you guys try this dish out. But that is going to wrap it up for me. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace, y'all.